Right, this is the big news. Is Roglic in good condition? Is he actually going to start the tour? There's so many rumours going out. No one seems to know. So obviously, going through his Instagram, you see one stage is looking outrageous. Some of the best form I've ever seen. He ended up crashing. I mean, these look pretty bad, these these things here. But, you know, nothing too crazy. A week or so, you'd be in, you know, a good condition again. But the thing that's very interesting is that he did a little spin yesterday, suggesting that he hadn't ridden. There's going to be a lot of, you know, suggestions reading through the lines. Obviously, this is teen here, so he's at altitude. Um, but he's on the indoor trainer, and apparently might have a bit of concussion, hence the indoor trainer. Um, he's staying optimistic. Let's see what the upcoming days bring. I mean, so obviously, we don't know what's happened. Jumbo Visma obviously aren't going to say anything, but their lack of no like words lack of uh, press statements would suggest that it's more severe so let's say you know he'd had a bit of road rash they would have done what Bora had done say look you know he had that i think bookman had a hematoma we'll see how it is but it should be all right but yumbo visma have given barely any updates at all um and it's all a bit mysterious um his girlfriend has been giving a lot of updates she's our most useful source it seems uh, but we'll move on to her in a minute uh, so then this is a picture of our girlfriend, his girlfriend, who was um, writing some sort of book. Uh, anyway, we'll go over to Cycling News, otherwise known as Fake News. They have a lot of fake news on this website, but I think that this, this could be true. Uh, so the partner, Laura uh, Clinch, has gone as far as saying that they've not decided if he's going to start. Um, I honestly thought that I would feel better by now after the crash on Saturday. The Dauphiné, let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, that was on his Insta, sorry, I just literally read that. Um, but yeah, she didn't seem very optimistic. The crash has put everything on hold for a while. Will Pum was start. And obviously, if you've seen the tour, like parkour, it's a pretty hard start. It's not like first week, just cruise around, 200 watts, middle of the peloton, last hour, maybe through a normalize or something. It's like proper mount mountain uh, top finishes in week one. So he's really got to be in top condition. But having said that, like he has the form. So, you know, he, like, he might have not been able to ride, but like it's not like disastrous. Like he'll... He'll just be tapering in that sense. So if he does start, um, but obviously Lotto and Oyumbo said Laurel was with Primoz last week. They don't know. As soon as training became serious, he participated in everything. Thanks to the good work of med medical staff, he can train fully. But you know, you have to read through the lines why you know, obviously he's not gonna he's not gonna say he's in terrible condition. He's obviously gonna say he's good condition, so hard to see. We've now had to sign up for Het Nice Blatt. Um, so all these Dutch things sending me emails left, right, and center. But this is this is more stuff. The same bloke, Zeman, he said was doing final training. Um, he was able to provide and guide Primoz in team. Um, they're also saying obviously Kreisweit's going Giro, but De Moulin's in top condition. Um, but I don't know. Um, I think as we see it, Tom is one of the tour favourites. That may be deflecting pressure off Roglic. I mean, it's very hard to tell what the results are going to be. Um, but Lantern, he um, will go over to his Instagram. But he's um, he's convinced that uh, uh, that Roglic is either not going to start or is not in good condition. Um, we will zoom through his bets a little bit. Um, he's yeah, here we go. So you can see I've paused it. Um, but he's yeah, look, he's backed pretty much Roglic like five dollars, so nothing. But he's laid in, which means he's betting against him. Uh, for two thousand four hundred dollars, um, so he's obviously pretty strong favorite. Uh, like he's sorry, he's, he's obviously convinced that Roglic is not going to even start or might, um, or definitely won't be a contender. I think for me, it's going to be harder to say. I'm I'm not as going out there potentially, um, but I think yeah, I, I think realistically, I think he's he's probably not in top condition. Um, I think I'll probably start, uh, just because even if he's not in top condition, loses time, he's still a good domestique, and he's obviously been targeting it. Uh, as long as he doesn't have concussion symptoms, I think he'll start. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting. I'm going to do a bit of previews, um, hopefully, in the next couple of days, uh, as obviously the tour is the tour, and it always gets a lot of views, and people seem to like a bit of previews. Um, I'll go through some stages. I'll try and keep it short. It's really hard to keep it short, though, because you just, like... Got to have it long. I think Lantern said his podcast was like two and a half hours or something about it all. So that's uh, pretty mental. Um, but anyway, cheers. Cheers for watching. Um, Lots of subscription and like and everything. Uh, always helps out the channel. And uh, until tomorrow, see ya.